It was a chance meeting uh, in a Cork town last February. Uh, I didn't know John and Mel Richards personally, but they knew I worked as a journalist. I bumped into them on the street and John and Mel approached me and asked whether I might be interested in doing a story uh, about something that had bothered John for many decades. His father had abandoned the family not once, but twice. Uh, and he hadn't seen his father for 50 years since 1974. It had always bothered him uh, as regards what his father's ultimate fate was. And John suspected that his father had, had left his mother and his brother and himself in Formoy in County Cork because he had a second family in the UK. And John believed he had at least one half sibling in the UK and wondered whether, 75 years of age now, he could actually track that sibling down. I wrote the story, it appeared in the Irish Independent last February and it got a tremendous reaction and one of the people that read the article was Shauna McGreevy, a documentary uh, maker with RT and she developed a programme called The Girl from the Letter which was broadcast uh, on RT Radio 1, their documentary on one series. They used a, a genealogist to be able to track um, John's father, John Senior, in the UK they not only managed to track down the fact that he had died in 2009, but that he did, as John Jr. had believed, have a second family in the UK. Not only did they confirm that there was a second family, but thanks to John Jr.'s son Keith and the, the miracles of social media, they were able to be put in contact with the one half-sibling that John Jr. believed that he had, the girl that was mentioned in a letter which his father had received just a couple of days before he vanished for the second time and for good in Ireland in 1974. That girl has now been in contact with John Jr. and his family. And in one of the most emotional um, parts of this story, when John was first in contact with Karen in England, he started crying that he couldn't believe after 50 years he had finally spoken to his half-sibling. And in a very touching gesture, Karen said that she didn't like the word half-sibling or half-sister or half-brother. She believed that John Jr. in Ireland was her brother. A very emotional ending to what has been a remarkable story. Not every story has a happy ending, but as a journalist, you live for the times when they do.